Lee from Japan. Um, my son and I came from Yokohama. My husband uh, commutes now. My husband is Japanese. He commutes now from Yokohama. Um, we are here to protect, protect our son from the ongoing effects of the Fukushima accident, which are spreading throughout um, the northeastern uh, region of Japan. Um, my question today is for Mr. Dietrich. Um, you talked about extra testing and data collection that your uh, plans will entail um, that you will be conducting if Unit 2 does go back online. How are you going to uh, add extra inspections with a reduced workforce? You're reducing your workforce, um, I've heard, by 750 people. And how can you assure us that these extra checks will be done when it is already public knowledge that your workers have previously falsified routine inspection reports? I think that's uh, probably not the falsification part, but the part about doing the inspections and having the resources. Anything to say about that, Pete? Yeah, I would just add that uh, first off, our, our uh, you know, efforts uh, and our work to set the staffing levels at the station is based on benchmarking uh, throughout the industry, looking at similar design plants and what the staffing levels are at those plants. We've gone through a very rigorous process there. As far as the, uh, the inspections and testing of the steam generators, we will take whatever time is necessary to ensure that, uh, that all of that testing is accomplished uh, and, and meets all the requirements. Those tests are uh, not just verified once or twice, they are actually verified three times by different qualified members, qualified to Electric Power Research Institute requirements as well as NRC requirements to be able to uh, read and interpret and uh, validate any current testing information. Okay, thank you. Yes. 